Hello, I'm Chris Smith, uh, Lord Smith of Finsbury, and for 22 years I was the Labour MP for Islington South and Finsbury, and uh, in 1997 to 2001 I was the Secretary of State for Culture in the Cabinet. And I was the first openly gay MP in Britain. Uh, I came out in 1984. And uh, I was also, I think, the first openly gay cabinet minister anywhere in the world. Um, uh, I remember uh, back in uh, the uh, run up to 1984, uh, I uh, had never made any particular secret of the fact that I was gay, but I hadn't said anything in public about it. And I just decided that at some point uh, I wanted to do so. Uh, I, I uh, decided uh, in November 1984, I was making a speech at a rally in the town of Rugby in the Midlands. Uh, the city council of Rugby had made a decision that they were going to exclude sexual orientation from the list of things that they were not going to discriminate against in their employment policies. Uh, effectively, they were saying, we will discriminate against gay people. Uh, and a lot of people were, of course, really upset about this. And uh, they had a big march through the centre of rugby on a Saturday lunchtime, followed by a big rally in a community hall. And they'd asked me to go and speak at the rally. I was very happy to do so. And I remember thinking as I went into the hall and meeting had already started and uh, there were probably about a thousand people there and I remember thinking it, th this is all about the fact that uh, someone who happens to be LGBT uh, can do every bit as good a job at working for Rugby Council as anyone else can. That's the key point of this uh, uh, march and rally. And I just thought exactly the same applies to MPs. And so uh, when I stood up to make my speech, I have to say I was absolutely terrified before doing so because no one had ever done this before. Um, I stood up, I began my speech by saying, my name's Chris Smith, I'm the Labour MP for Islington South and Finsbury, and I'm gay. And at that moment, the entire audience got to its feet and gave me a standing ovation. It was just uh, uh, a wonderful moment. And I have to say, I haven't regretted my decision to do that for a single moment uh, ever since. Uh, uh, in the immediate uh, few days following that uh, there was obviously quite a lot of uh, publicity there was uh, coverage in the newspapers um, and uh, i received letters from all around the country this was long before the days of social media and internet um, that i got letters from people all around the country and many of them said well done good on you uh, but the uh, ones that really uh, meant the most to me were uh, the letters that said, thank you, it's made it easier for me. Uh, because I believe that the thing that has made uh, uh, such huge progress in LGBT rights over the course of the last 30, 40 years is... Uh, the fact that uh, people have come to realise that there are people everywhere, in their workplace, in their families, amongst their friends, in their neighbourhoods, and indeed, yes, public figures, who just happen to be LGBT and are proud to say that they are. And that has made a huge difference to the way in which people feel confident about themselves. There is absolutely no one who needs to feel uh, scared, terrified or ashamed about uh, the fact that they happen to be LGBT. And uh, uh, they should feel absolutely uh, free 
to say that they are and to live their life to the full without having to hide anything about themselves. Uh, I believe that so strongly and uh, I have to say uh, throughout my political career, throughout my life, I have never for a moment regretted that decision to say to the world, I'm gay. And so what? I now want to get on uh, with doing a decent job and being an effective politician and public figure. And I hope that over the years I've managed to do that. Good luck to everyone.